What's up everybody, how y'all doing? My name is Alex Yu and I just want to talk about something that I saw on YouTube and this was the um, the, the Tupac live performance at Coachella. Coachella is a, um, a, a music festival, a music festival held in Southern California and Tupac Shakur performed live at this music festival called Coachella and it wasn't him, it was actually his hologram and he performed uh, alongside uh, Snoop Doggy Dog, and this um, uh, this this performance was just all over social media, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and so I watched it. I'm a huge Tupac fan. I'm a, I'm a, someone that uh, has all of his albums, all his um, a lot of his 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 music that was unreleased, and I just think he's one of the uh, greatest rappers that ever lived. And some may disagree with me, but that that's fine. That's your opinion. Um, and when he was gone, like like really gone, he it, it it was a huge impact on me. So I'm watching this video, and it it just uh, it, it was amazing. It was just uh, whoever came up with this idea to to have him perform as a hologram and bring him back is a genius. It was just completely brilliant and it looks so real. So, um, but the, the crazy part is that it is a hologram and he's really not there. But the, the, the even more outrageous part is that uh, if you were live in the audience, you would forget all that. You can tell by when, when Tupac addressed the crowd at Coachella, he said, Coachella, what's up? That just brought the crowd into a frenzy. Like everybody was just, just, just went nuts. And it just made you feel like it was the real thing. And I know that if I was there, I would have gotten goosebumps. And I was watching it just hypnotized by the by the performance. And even though it was a hologram, I was still very uh, um, just absorbed by his performance. But the crazy part is that once the performance was over, I just felt sad. I felt sad that, that he was gone. I, I felt that... Uh, I was so mesmerized by a performance that I really felt he was there and once it was over it was just uh it, it was just sad it, it was uh it was just um uh it, it you know it just reminds me of how unfortunate that we lost someone who was so um iconic in the music industry or the the the, the music industry I was going to say hip hop industry but but the music industry I mean he did do some questionable things with the law but deep down inside ultimately he was uh, 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 he made a positive impact on the the, the hip hop music industry, the world of hip hop. So that's what I gotta say about this. Um, I I just uh, felt that I had to make this video just to to tell people how I felt about this. There are a lot of other other videos uh, that that where people just share their opinions about it. Well, here's mine. But uh, the other thing I want to talk about, which is completely related to this, is that. Well, they did this as a bit of a surprise. They didn't know how this would be. It was a bit of an experience, like a test, to see how a, a holographic performance of Tupac would be at a live audience. How would people take it? Well, apparently it was a very positive reaction, and that makes me think, what's stopping them from doing this again? They could bring Tupac again in, um, in other performances, or what's stopping them from bringing back other um, uh, music icons like uh, Elvis Presley, uh, John Lennon, Biggie Smalls, uh, Michael Jackson. Uh, maybe not Michael Jackson just because it, like his death was so recent, but the fact is that this is show business. It, show business is really a business. They're there to make money. They're, they're there to sell uh, tickets and, and, and fill seats. So really, if this was a test to see how, how um, people would react to something like this, and it was a positive reaction, what's stopping them from doing this again? And that makes me feel a little bit, uh, just, um, I, I don't know, just, I don't know. I, I was gonna say disgusted, but it's um, it's what some people would describe as, uh, I guess, death death exploitation, which is uh, death exploitation, right? Um, I know there are some people out there who wanna see it happen again and more often, but um, there are also other people who think that, wait a minute, if you're going to do this again, you, you could possibly do this again with uh, other dead uh, musicians, celebrities, or other performers. 
And uh, if you do that, that just means that, um, I don't know, are, are you really honoring their, their, what they did in their past life? I don't know. It, it's hard to say because uh, it can go both ways. But I just feel a, a little... It's a little bit unsettling to know that uh, they could do this again. What they did with with Tupac was a positive thing. It was I felt it was the right thing to do. They did something right just because everybody reacted uh, positively to it. But to 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 do it again, it, especially for the means of uh, of of um, you know just making money, it just feels. I don't know, it just doesn't feel right. I don't know, what are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comment section below. Because um, I, I don't think that I'm the only one that feels this way. Anyways, I do uh, think that the performance was incredible. Like, like I said, whoever uh, came up with that idea and whoever was able to produce that effect, uh, these guys are geniuses. Whatever we just saw was brilliant. And um, it was so impactful and emotional to me that uh, like I said I, I felt sad when the performance was over I wish I was there because if I was there I would have just oh man I, I just would have really felt his performance but even on YouTube just watching him again uh, and being such a big fan of his I I, I just felt uh, that uh, like wow they, they brought him back and and he's there he's right there performing right before my eyes after, uh, uh, um, you know, being absent for, I don't know, 15, 17, 15 years, something like that. So there you have it. That's really all I have to say about this video and what I saw at Coachella. It was extraordinary what I saw, but um, if it ever happened again, would you pay to watch that while knowing that it is a, a holographic performance? I don't know. It, it, it could be just an add-on or a supplement to an existing performance, but would you actually pay to watch uh, a, a performance of, let's say, Michael Jackson, like a two-hour performance of a holographic Michael Jackson? I don't know. That just seems wrong to me. It's uh, death exploitation. There's no other way to put it. Um, anyways, I'm going to take off now. I, I just uh, had to share this with you. So um, I don't know. Let me know. I'm, uh, I'm curious to know what other people think. I'm out of here. So uh, I'll see you next time. Peace.